In this video, I will be talking about the Three Kingdoms period of China, focusing on the many talented heroes of that time. Shamok A Pangu tribal chieftain from the Wuling Commandery, they were also known as the Men of the Five Creeks, due to the five valleys and gorges found within Wuling. They crafted clothing, often skirts and tree bark, which was then coloured with dotted decorations using vegetation from the area. Due to them having no elected leader, the representative chieftains of each tribe were the recognised administrators of the area. Shamok, being one of them, was contacted in person by Ma Liang of Shu in the year 221, who sought to employ his tribe in the coming battle his lord Liu Bei was waging on Sun Chuan of Wu. Ma Liang was successful in bribing the chieftains to side with Liu Bei, so Shamok went with the Shu army to Yi Ling, whilst other chiefs revolted against the local Wu officials, forcing Sun Chuan to send Bu Zhi to suppress them. The battle went very well for Shu in the initial stages whilst morale was high, but the battle soon started to drag out. As they slowly lost focus, the two forces became locked in a stalemate. The acting commander of the Wu forces, Lu Zun, was struggling to earn the respect of his troops after numerous failed attempts at capturing Shu positions, but he had devised a strategy that would soon change their opinions of him. He had each of his men carry a pile of straw to set up a fire attack against the invading Shu army. At the same time that the flames were ignited, he led an all-out attack that completely turned the tide of the battle, causing devastating damage to the Shu main force. Shu Ran was able to quickly rout the Shu vanguard, driving Liu Bei to retreat, which caused Wu's morale to soar. Pan Zhang's unit charged Feng Shi's, killing him in the process. Meanwhile, Song Qian was wiping out Shu positions earning himself five officer kills, one for each garrison he captured. Once the fighting had stopped, over 40 Shu camps had been lost. Only one unit belonging to Xiang Chong escaped with casualties. Two more officers managed to surrender to Wu, whilst Wang Fu, Ma Liang and Shimok were all killed in combat. In the romanticised version of events, the Wu general Ga Ning was present at the battle. Despite being ill, he was determined to fight. During Lu Zun's charge, Shamok engaged Gan Ning, who found himself outmatched and so began to retreat. As he turned to flee, Shamok drew his bow and put an arrow in the back of his head. Shamok made his way back to his home where he was pursued by the Wu general Zhao Tai, who then avenged Gan Ning's death. If you enjoyed my video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.